day we'll, uh, we'll wake up and we'll brush our teeth and we'll go to work. At some point, we'll suddenly realize that we haven't thought about it at all. Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm going to preview what we can expect in episode 9 of Better Call Saul's final season. Before we get going, I do want to say that I think there's a real chance that we might not get any more teasers that show upcoming scenes, because there are so many big surprises baked into the potential time skips that might happen. The teaser I'll be talking about today is a continuation of the mysterious ones they put out during the mid-season break. They don't give a lot away. They make you think about what's to come without showing it to you. But on top of that, there are some episode 9 photos, the official synopsis, and some news about the new character to talk about. If any of that sounds like spoilers to you, then this is your chance to leave. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. The title of episode 9 is Fun and Games, and the official synopsis reads, Gus attempts to smooth things over with the cartel, while Mike ties up loose ends north of the border. This feels a little strange to me. The promo photos do include shots of Juan Bolsa, Don Eladio, and Gus together in Mexico. You can't really say for sure that's where Gus is in the photo, but given the synopsis, it makes sense. And to me, it also looks like he's standing there looking at Don Eladio's pool, which brings to mind that fateful day when Max was killed. What's strange is that it feels unnecessary for his story for him to be there. The cartel believes that Lalo died at his hacienda, so none of what's happened since Nacho's death changes anything. There are issues to deal with, but none of it seems crucial. It makes me wonder if he goes there as a way to get him out of Albuquerque because the story needs him not to be there. If Mike is supposed to tie up loose ends, maybe he wants him to do something that he can't follow through on. If he weren't around, that would give Mike the chance to say he did whatever he wanted him to, without him looking over his shoulder. This is on my mind because Kim now knows where he lives, and that could be seen as her knowing too much. At the same time, I'm not sure why he would want her eliminated and not Jimmy, so I'm not in love with this idea. But I did think it was worth considering since something has to get Kim to leave town, or at the very least bring their relationship to an end. The official teaser AMC released after episode 8 is an 11 second black and white shot of Saul Goodman's office that looks like it did in the Breaking Bad timeline. There are no signs of Francesca's hard work in decorating it when Saul first moved in, which presents the question of when and why did he redecorate. The only other thing that happens is that Jimmy says that one day they'll wake up and brush their teeth and go to work, and at some point they'll suddenly realize that they haven't thought about it at all. So not a ton of content, but as with the other recent teasers, I still find this fascinating for a couple of reasons. First, what Jimmy says is almost a word-for-word parrot job of what Mike told him when he was having trouble going back to work after their trip through the desert. That's interesting because at the time, he didn't find the advice very useful, and in reality still hasn't recovered from that. Because Season 5 came out such a long time ago, it's easy to forget that when they started putting their plan against Howard into action, Jimmy was still noticeably sunburnt from that trip. Some time has passed now, but these traumatic situations have just been following one after the other in Jimmy's life. It also sounds like he's saying this to Kim, who just had the equivalent of her trip through the desert. Even if Jimmy was falling apart, you would expect him to try to lift Kim up. But it's at least possible that he's better equipped to put on the facade and go back to living his life because of his ability to stuff these kinds of things down rather than feel them. And I mean, relatively anyway. He was an absolute mess before he started to bounce back as they were putting things in motion against Howard. He never led on that Chuck's death was bothering him, but it certainly came out in other ways. Regardless, saying this to Kim makes it seem like she's having trouble. I think there's something to what Mike said about her being made of sterner stuff. But, the last 24 hours would be difficult for anyone. I suppose it depends on when he's actually saying this. This could be right after Mike leaves. He might be doing what he tried to do when he quoted her this same conversation, saying that dropping Mesa Verde was putting her on Bad Choice Road. I tend to think that she's been the more capable of the two, and it's pretty clear that she thought this as well. I believe that's why she didn't tell him about running into Mike and finding out that Lalo wasn't dead, but it's still very possible that she might be having trouble acting like everything is normal in a post-Howard world, and we'll come back to that in a minute. 
the second thing about this teaser is related to something I noticed about the last one they put out before episode eight. This same shot of the office is even included in that one. And instead of quoting Mike, he's saying something that we heard Chuck say to Howard. The thing that jumped out to me in that teaser is that it starts out with lifeless interior and exterior shots of familiar places. It focuses on the inside and outside of Saul's office, Los Pollos, and Kim's apartment before it gets to the big reveal shot of Saul in his mansion during Breaking Bad. The lifelessness and lack of color adds a bleakness to the black and white shots, which reminds you of Gene. But I don't think that this is an indication that we'll be visiting Omaha in the next episode. The thing we've been witnessing is the traces of good that were in Jimmy when we first met him being stripped away. Much like the color has been stripped from the image of his office. So it makes me think of the Saul Goodman persona that Jimmy has been crafting over the past two seasons. Because this prequel did add another dimension to the garish criminal lawyer we met in Breaking Bad. Sure, Jimmy McGill has always had a slippery side, but when we meet him at the beginning of Better Call Saul, he's a long way away from sleazy, which is something he definitely is in the original series, at least on the outside. Knowing who he was and who he'll become makes me wonder how much of Jimmy is still there on the inside. The Gene timeline has gotten darker if you really think about it. Originally, that lack of color and him being on his own toiling away at Cinnabon seemed awful for the guy we knew to be such a colorful character. Now it's starting to look like who he was in Breaking Bad was more about him not being able to deal with the consequences of the choices he's made. The one shot we've seen of him in the mansion doesn't look like a version of Jimmy that's living his best life. Of course, things do go wrong when he starts working with Walter White, but how right were they before he walked in that door? It's a very interesting question, and it makes me reconsider the idea of him sitting in that apartment in Omaha watching those VHS tapes of his Saul commercials. Kim is not there, and in the next couple of episodes, we're going to know for sure why that is. The other promo photo that caught my attention was one of Cliff Main. It's kind of been up in the air of who they'll be dealing with in this aftermath of Howard's disappearance. The shot of Cliff makes me wonder if he'll ask her why she missed that meeting. And that feels like a conversation that could be a pressure point, because what can she even say? The other bit of news is there's a tweet that seems to indicate that Carol Burnett will show up in the next episode. At Mavericks Movies, who seems to know a lot about the industry and awards, tweeted out that a certain actor from Better Call Saul will presumably be eligible for guest actor next year for the second half of this season for their performance in this week's episode. They have officially announced that Carol Burnett will be a guest actor, and if he's right that there aren't any others, you can put two and two together. And if that's not enough, when someone brought this up in the replies, he responded with a gif of her. This makes me think that she's probably playing Judge Pompadumian, since we know that Jimmy will be going back to the courtroom, and if he has a meltdown or something else happens, that seems like a pretty good place for her to step into the role of this character that's been name-dropped in both series. The other idea is that she could play Howard's mother. I never really liked this one that much. I'm presuming that they do get the settlement money, since he put some money into that mansion, and I just don't know because they already have plenty to regret in what happened to Howard. Howard. I don't see pressure from his family making a big difference, but I have seen that a lot of people like this idea. We'll be finding out pretty soon, and I think that's a good place to leave things. Let me know in the comments what you think about the teaser and the photos, and what you expect to see in episode 9. Going into making this, I wasn't thinking this could be the last episode where we see Kim and Jimmy together, but the more I thought about it, the more possible it started to seem. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.